Our department vice presidents, division chairs, and other officers have been leading the charge. In car equipment, Vice President Shirley Martin and Chair Matt Ahern successfully pushed management to adopt a whole new approach to subway car cleaning, giving it the attention and staffing the massive job requires. A hiring blitz got underway in 2022 and is continuing. As a result, we expect there will be about 500 more Local 100 terminal car cleaners on the property later this year, bringing the total force to its highest level ever. There has been a burst of activity in RTO, led by Vice President Gomez. Pressure from RTO leadership forced management to provide safer train operator and conductor cabs on the R62 and the R62A trains. Vandals and criminals were kicking in the cab doors because the door latches were so flimsy and useless. One of our train operators was physically assaulted by a rider who kicked in a cab door. All doors now have solid steel door stoppers and our conductors and operators can work without fear that their workspace will be invaded. Over in the stations department, our station agents faced a very real threat from technology. The MTA now has the digital fare payment system, AMI, in every subway station. Riders can buy trips directly at the turnstile with credit cards, debit cards, and smartphones. Vice President Kelly took action to prevent our station agents from being phased out along with the Metro card. Negotiating an agreement that give agents new customer service roles and a pay raise of a dollar an hour. That's more than $2,000 over the course of the year. The MTA hired nearly 300 station agents last year and plans on hiring hundreds more this year. The maintenance away department led by John Chirillo aggressively pursued and secured robust project schedules for members in all divisions, LES, power, structures, and track. With funding from the infrastructure bill and the largest ever MTA capital plan, Maintenance Away launched an amazing number of projects across the subway system, replacing track panels, repairing train signals, and performing other vital work. There also was some good news for station and RTO workers. The Employee Facility Enhancement Program was reinstituted to improve bathrooms, crew rooms, and other non-public areas. Local 100 is constantly focused on reducing disciplinary action and terminations imposed by management. I'm pleased to report that the number of termination cases that went through arbitration declined substantially in 2022. Our vice presidents at MTA Bus, Map Stoa, and TA Surface, Pete Rusconi, Donald Yates, and JP Patafio helped drive those termination cases downward in 2022 using a stipulation concerning bus operators with cell phone violations. Before the stipulation, bus operators faced immediate termination for a second violation. Now bus operators with at least five years on the job are reassigned, not fired, after a second offense. These members continue to maintain an income and health coverage for themselves and their loved ones. Our career and salary unit with members in MTA Bus and Map Store ratified a four-year contract with annual raises, full retro pay, express bus passes, and importantly, maternity and paternity leave. It was a long battle, but the agreement was approved by a huge margin, 383 to 8.